Greeting to our viewers and friends who have joined us on 22 Hours channel. What's hot and not what they even have taken place today? What is special about the political and social situation both domestically and internationally? Let's find out right away. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beijing News reported that at 8 a.m. yesterday, the Minling Reservoir raised the floodgate. It is known that due to the influence of this heavy rain, the amount of water from the upstream of the Minling Reservoir continued to increase. The reservoir blocked the upstream flood to the greatest extent and ensured the safety of the downstream area, causing the lake water level to continue to rise. Before the flood discharge, the lake level exceeded the flood limit by 3 meters. Reporters of the Beijing News learned that the 65-year-old Mingling Reservoir has also encountered floods many times. This flood is also the first flood discharge of the Mingtung Reservoir in this century. It is known that Mingling Reservoir was built in 1958, and the original purpose of building the reservoir was to prevent flooding. The reservoir is located on the Dongsha River, a tributary of the Wenyu River in the Northern Canal System, which has had many floods since ancient times. In 1950, the Wenyu River had two floods. In January 1958, Minling Reservoir officially started construction. At that time, 400,000 people were mobilized to build Minling Reservoir, which was expected to be completed in more than two years, but actually finished in just 160 days. This can be called the National Defense of China, a feat in history. The reservoir was originally designed as a three-level building, and the flood control standard was designed for a 50-year flood and a 200-year flood test. In 1962, the Beijing city government upgraded the building to the second level, and the flood control standard was designed according to the Onsen of 1,000-year flood and the Onsen 1,000-dire flood test. Currently, Mingling Reservoir is already a medium-sized reservoir in Beijing with comprehensive benefits such as flood control, irrigation, and tourism, and it is also the largest reservoir in Changping District. Minling Reservoir is no stranger to floods. For example, the first flood water reservoir in the year it was built. Then this basin experienced many floods in 1974, 1998, 2008, 2012, and 2016. Yesterday afternoon, Feng Wei, director of the party office of the Mingling Reservoir Management Office, told a reporter from Beijing News that this flood discharge is also the first flood discharge since the reservoir was opened. In the 21st century, reporters learned from Changping District that, during the current heavy rain in Beijing, many reservoirs are in Changping District, including Wangji Island Reservoir, Shangtan Reservoir, and Mangyu Reservoir, began to release floods on Monday. According to the report, the initial discharge of Minling Reservoir for this flood discharge is 10 cubic meters per second, which will gradually increase to 30 cubic meters per second. Dongsha River is full, discharge will decrease to 10 cubic meters per second. After the water flow safely passes through Kinmat Canal, it can gradually increase to 30 cubic meters per second. Depending on conditions of the site and the lake's water level will drop below the flood limit water level. The flood will eventually flow into the Saha River. Reporters know that the main affected area of this flood is the Dongsa River area up from the Minling Reservoir to the BAC Sa River section, including Binha Forest Park, Shuang Bin Yu Town, the water area, a Bokfuk Tai Relic Park, and Dongsa River Canal. To ensure the smooth progress of this flood discharge, the Water Resources Bureau of Beijing City and Champing District jointly discussed and evaluated, conducted pre-forecast analysis, devised a handover plan, and avoided any risk. At the same time, completing the road closure along the flood discharge, evacuating people along the river, regulating traffic before 36 hours and other management works. Shuangbin District has conducted risk investigation along the discharge line and implemented technical reinforcement measures for at-risk areas. A total of 1,080 flood prevention and repair personnel, 130 sets of machinery large and small equipment, 59 ambulances, 350,000 sandbags, sandbag strips, and other materials. It is known that during flood discharge, the Beijing Irrigation Department will continue to negotiate with Changping District, conduct specific planning, strengthen inspection and guard, and at the same time fully prepare to handle the floods. In case of emergency, ensuring the safe and smooth flood discharge progress. The rain in North China is coming to an end and the focus of this rain has shifted to the Northeast. As of Tuesday, 
The Heilong Jiang Meteorological Observatory issued 15 red rainstorm warnings for three consecutive days. Currently, 19 rivers have issued flood warnings, of which the Shanghai section of the Ant River embankment is critically endangered. How strong is this rain in northeast China? It will be more intense than the torrential downpour in northern China. 15 red warnings for this storm and many rivers exceeded warning levels. Due to the residual steam effect of storm no. 5 Du Suri, heavy rain continued in the northeast. Up to now, the Heilongjiang Meteorological Observatory has issued 15 consecutive red rainstorm warnings. The last time was at 7.50 am. Yesterday, the Heilongjiang Provincial Meteorological Observatory continued to issue red storm warning signal, saying that the amount of rain at Helen Republic Station in the past three hours was 85.1 mm and the amount of rain will continue to increase up to 100. In addition, from the day before yesterday, many rivers have exceeded the flood warning level. According to the Heilongjiang Provincial Hydrology and Water Resources Center, at 11 p.m. yesterday, the water level at Mudanjiang Station in Mudanjiang reached 229.01 meters, 0.1 meters above the warning water level and reached flood level standards. The flood in Mount Jiangno, one this year has formed. By 11 p.m. the day before yesterday, the water level at the Nian Sishin Station on the Yellow River reached 216.12 meters. The No. 1 flood of the Yellow River this year had also formed. At 8 a.m. yesterday, the water level of the Dindo section of the Ant River reached 99.63 meters, reaching the standard for issuing a red flood warning. Two days earlier, in Harbin, rainfall caused several flooded spots on the roads in the urban area. According to the Harbin Daily, as of 8 a.m. yesterday, a total of 31 reservoirs in Heilongjiang province are operating at levels 0.1 to 4.81 meters above the flood limit, and 19 rivers have the water level exceeds the warning by 0.2 to 2.47 meters. Currently, the Guangxi section of the Ant River embankment is at great risk, and there is great risk in Longguang, Mobensun, and other reservoirs. From 12 noon yesterday, the Department of Water Resources of Heilongjiang Province raised the emergency level for flood response and drought disaster prevention to level 2. Heavy rains cause floods, landslides, highway collapses, flooding villages. More than 6,000 people were transferred overnight from Wuching City affected by rainfall at around 8.50 am. Yesterday, part of the roadbed of the bridge near the 253 kilometers 254 km section of the Jiten Shuman Expressway. This section is also known as the Hamu Expressway from Maodongjiang to Harbin was swept away by floods. Subsidence occurred, disrupting road traffic. After the incident, two small vehicles fell into the pit of the subsidence. The specific casualties are unknown. At 10 o'clock yesterday, the reporter learned from the Highway Traffic Administration Bureau of the Heilongjiang Provincial Police that the sections of the road from Shangji to Heilin and from Heilin to Yubuli are on the Hamu Expressway. New will continue to be closed. Torrential rains for several days have affected many places in Wuching City, Heilongjiang Province, which is famous for Wuching rice. According to data from the Harbin Meteorological Department, from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Yesterday, the rainfall in the central and southern areas of Wuching City, Harbin has reached 50 minus 100 mm, individual points reached each point. 100 minus 180 mm. According to Harbin Daily News, yesterday afternoon, due to the discharge of more water from Long Fengshan Reservoir in Wuching City, 25 villages and 5 towns near the downstream area of the reservoir were moved. To date, a total of more than 6,000 people have been transferred. In the Northeast region, heavy rain is still continuing. The Central Hydrometeorological Station continued to issue a yellow warning about severe convective weather at 10 a.m. yesterday. It is expected that from 2 p.m. yesterday to 2 p.m. today will appear short-term heavy rain in Heilongjiang, Central and Eastern Jilin, Central and Eastern Lyon, with an hourly rainfall of 40 to 70 millimeters. The local area can be up to more than 80 millimeters. There will be a Category 8 to 10 thunderstorm and strong winds or hail in areas of central and southeastern Heilongjiang, eastern Jilin, and central and eastern Lining. Since July this year, extremely high temperatures and extremely heavy rainfall alternate, whether the climate is unusual. 
And how is this heavy rain in northeast China different from the one in north China? In the face of severe weather, Mark Academy, chief forecaster of the Central Meteorological Station, said that from June to early July, northern China is prone to high temperatures, and seven ups and downs are also seasons. Rain in North China and Northeast China. Therefore, high temperatures in mid to early July and heavy rainfall from late July to early August are seasonally normal. The causes of heavy rainfall in Northern and Northeast China can be roughly summarized in three points. First, extreme heat is associated with the development and continued maintenance of continental high pressure and weak cold air activity. Second, the heavy rainfall in North China is closely related to the storm that carries a large amount of water vapor to the north. Third, the elevation of the topography of the Taihang mountain range and the Yensun mountain range led to an increased concentration of rainfall. In addition, the precipitation in northeast China and the previous heavy rainfall in North China are both influenced by the subtropical high circulation and water vapor is provided by the warm and humid air surrounding the subtropical high pressure. Tropical and the position of the rain belt is relatively stable. However, the location of the northeast is located to the northwest of the subtropical high pressure. The rainfall is directly affected by a lot of cold air convection and is accompanied by strong convective weather phenomena such as thunderstorms, strong wind, hail. Typhoon Doksuri moved northward, bringing continuous heavy rains to central and southern areas of Heilongjiang province. As of Tuesday morning, the Heilongjiang Meteorological Observatory has issued 15 consecutive rainstorm warnings. Defected by rainfall, many rivers, including Songhua River, have exceeded warning water levels and met flood numbering standards. The city of Wuching, which is famous for its Wuching rice, has been severely affected. Wuching City is located in the southern part of Heilongjiang province and is administered by the city of Harbin. The territory has two main aqueducts, the Lalan and the Ash. The Lalan is one of the main sources of the Songhua River, and the Ash is a tributary on the right bank of the Songhua River, with the reservoir, Wang Thuang Sun and Mo Ban Sun in the territory. At 5 o'clock, on Monday, Wuching City's Flood and Drought Prevention Headquarters issued a level 3 flood control response. According to Wuching News released, on the afternoon of Wednesday, the Office of Flood and Drought Prevention and Control Headquarters of Wuching City said, due to the increased discharge of Long Fengshan Reservoir at 2.30 p.m. Wednesday night, staff from 25 villages in five towns and villages related to the downstream area of the reservoir have been completely relocated. According to China News, Com, up to now, Wuching City has moved nearly 20,000 people affected by natural disasters to other places. My mother is over 60 years old, and this is the first time she has seen such a large flood. Lai Wan, head of a professional rice farming cooperative in Long Thong Sun Town, told Jimmy News. Our rice fields and houses are completely flooded, completely flooded, the water level is more than 3 meters deep. We have an emergency evacuation. All the rescuers rafted to the rescue, the birds were all flooded and the livestock fled. We can't save the year's rations. Lee Street was also flooded, and warehouses were also flooded. According to previous media reports, on Wednesday, a group of villagers in Longfengshan town announced in a WeChat group that due to heavy rain, the Longfengshan reservoir will increase its flood discharge, and all farmers must complete the move out by 3 m the next day. Long Thuong Sun Town is located in the southeast of Wuching City, in the middle of the mountains, surrounded by mountains on two sides, surrounded by water on one side, high and low in the west and low in the west, long and narrow in the north and south. The town is the birthplace of Peach Waxiang No, to high-quality rice and the largest high-quality rice distribution center in Heilongjiang Province. The China Economic News Network once reported that the total annual social output value of Longfengshan Town can reach 200 million yuan, of which the value of agricultural output accounts for about 70%, equivalent to equivalent to 140 million yuan. Regarding the general situation of rice disaster in Wuching City, the other day, an employee of the Department of Agriculture and Rural Affairs of Wuching City said in an interview with the media, Currently, most most of the staff are in rural areas and are busy with disaster relief work. The situation is not yet understood, more statistics are needed. Wang Yu, head of a professional rice growing cooperative in Shanghai Township, Wuching City, 
told Jimian News that the hardest hit area in Wuching City is concentrated in the downstream area of Long Fuang Sun Reservoir. We've had heavy rain here for almost three days in a row and it just stopped today. Wang Yu said, the last time we saw such heavy rain was in 1998. Statistics from the Heilongjiang Provincial Meteorological Bureau show that from 00am on Tuesday to 8am yesterday, 6.30 stations in Hai, Chichihar, Daqing, Suiwa, Harbin, Mudanjiang, and other places other than that, the cumulative rainfall exceeded 100 millimeters, and the heaviest rainfall occurred in the National Day Village of Wuching City was 342.8 millimeters. Among the county stations, the rainfall of 27 stations including Long Fuangsen, Bu Shuang, Fuangshai, Hailan, Mount Anjong, and Longjong exceeded historical daily extremes. According to the Heilongjiang Meteorological Observatory, it is expected that from today to the next day most areas of Heilongjiang province will still have significant rainfall, and the main rainy period will be the fourth day. Accumulated rainfall south of Haif River, south of Yichin, north of Chichihar, Jixi and Madanjiang can reach 80 mm to 100 mm locally and 120 mm in individual towns. Rain accompanied by short-term heavy rain, thunderstorms, strong winds, small hail and other forms of strong convective weather, maximum hourly intensity of rain from 40 mm to 60 mm, individual towns over 70 mm, one some areas with strong gusts of 7 to 8 and local areas with intensity from 9 to 10. The Heilongjiang Meteorological Observatory said that rainfall will continue and it is easy to cause secondary disasters such as urban inundation, agricultural land flooding, mountain flooding, geological hazards and flooding. In small and medium rivers, it will negatively affect emergency rescue work and it is necessary to take preventive measures. Our newsletter for today is here to end, please leave any feedback below in the comments. If you find it interesting, give us a like, comment, share and press the bell to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and see you soon. The previous news segment on show marks the end of the program from 22 hours channel. Thank you and all of you for paying attention. Please leave your comments and feedback in the comment section of this video so that we can respond promptly.